In this video, I am going to try and make the roll-up chair again, because if you remember seeing my last roll-up chair video, it did not go very well. Um, I got it to work, and it actually held weight surprisingly well. It worked very well, but it was very ugly and looked nothing like the original design that I was trying to replicate. So this time, now that I have the functionality somewhat down, I'm going to focus a lot more on the design. And the first major change that I'm making in this version is I'm using solid pine, as you can see, instead of plywood, because you saw the last video, plywood was a huge issue. So I'm going to cut a bunch of 20 inch pieces, and then I'm going to take those over to the table saw and rip them to an inch and a half. This is all reclaimed wood from, I think, a bookshelf or something, so it has this, like, dark stain on all of it, and uh, I really should have done this when this was all just one board, um, but uh, I didn't think of it, so now I'm going to sand off all the stain. Next, I'm going to glue the pieces back together in pairs in kind of like a Z shape, and this is something I did in the last roll-up chair that I made and it worked very well. It kind of lets the pieces interlock and just makes the chair a lot stronger. The chair has curves to it, so that means that some of these pieces need to be angled, and angling pieces like this when they're in this weird Z shape is kind of tricky because you actually have to make multiple cuts to get the pieces to fit together. And then as well as angling some of the pieces, I also needed to cut some of the pieces shorter because the chair design that I'm trying to copy here is uh, made up of longer and shorter sections. So I went over to the miter saw and then I cut uh, some of those longer pieces into uh, fourths to make the shorter pieces. Now that I had all my parts angled and cut to length, I could start to lay out and see what the chair was going to look like, but uh, at this point there's still nothing holding the pieces together. So next I replaced the blade on my table saw with a 3 8 inch dado stack, and now I'm going to cut a series of dados to hold some rope that will hold the chair together.
Now I can fit the rope into the slots and to keep the rope from slipping back out, I'll glue in a strip to go across the rope at every piece. At this point, my plans changed quite a bit because I went to a yard sale and I found this roll of pallet banding for $1.50. And honestly, if I had had this to start the project, I would have never even bothered with the rope. This is probably the best material you could use for this project, and I just had never thought of it. It's super slim, it's very strong, and unlike rope or the toe strapping I used in the first chair, it doesn't stretch and it takes screws super well. So I screwed in a couple of strips of that pallet banding on either side of that chair, and that is really doing most of the heavy lifting in this chair. It, it, that's where most of the strength comes from. The rope helps a little bit, but uh, it really just stretches too much, and I thought what I was going to have to do is just pull it super tight, that rope super tight, so that it wouldn't stretch anymore. Um, luckily, I don't really have to deal with that too much. I think the rope looks cool, um, but it's really not doing much. That pallet banding is really what saved this project. And now you can actually see the chair in use, and uh, it does not look very comfortable at first. Um, I pulled that pallet banding very tight, so it's not the right shape, but then once it has some weight on it and the wood starts to mar together better, it gets in a better, more normal chair shape. And it's actually pretty comfortable, and it's much stronger than the first one, which I wasn't really going for, but it worked out well. So it looks better, it's much stronger, I'm a lot happier with this version of the roll-up chair. So one issue that I had with the first chair, and this one as well, is that uh, it doesn't stay up when there's no weight on it because, you know, that pallet banding is pulled so tight. So it'll just roll itself up when there's no weight on it. And there's not really a great way to fix this, but uh, the nice thing with having the rope going through this chair that I didn't really think of um, is that I can just connect the two ends of the rope, and that'll keep the chair up when no one's sitting on it. 